Welcome back, students. We are working on Lesson 32, Session 1. Turn to page 695 in your Volume 1 math book. And today we're going to be learning about adding and subtracting angles. So um, last week we learned how to use a protractor to measure angles and also how to draw angles. And this week we're going to learn about how when you add angles together or subtract an angle from a different angle, how you can get the results. So on this it says, Flora cut a rectangle sheet of paper into two pieces. So here's her sheet of paper and she cut it diagonally right here. And now she has two pieces of paper. What is the sum of the measure of angle A and angle B? So they want to know if I add this angle and this angle together, what do I get? Well, if you think about a piece of paper, I can measure these angles each by themselves, or I can measure this one together to see. So if I measure it together, I'm going to put this on my vertex right there on the line, and look, it goes all the way up here to 90 degrees. The reason it's 90 degrees is because if you take a piece of paper, the corner is 90 degrees. So you can see this is just like a corner, so I can see both sides of my angle. So when you cut it in half, if you measure each, each of them, so I'm going to measure this one first, and it measures right at 45 degrees. Now I'm going to measure this angle. and it measures right at 45 degrees. So if I add 45 degrees plus 45 degrees together, I still get 90 degrees. Every time I see a corner that's a square like this, I'm going to know that it's actually a 90 degree corner, which is a right angle. So the question here is, what is the sum of the measures of angle A and B? The sum is... 90 degrees because the uncut piece of paper is an exact square like a right angle. When you cut them, cut it in half, each angle measures 45 degrees. 45 degrees plus 45 degrees equals 90 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at page 696. We already answered number one, so let's take a look at number two. Again, this is a piece of a circle that they decomposed or that they kind of blew up and it made it bigger, kind of like a magnifying glass. It says that it's 10 degrees, so this angle is all together worth 10 degrees, and each space between each set of lines is worth one degree. So it says how many one degree angles make up the 10 degree angles? Well, if there's one degree 10 times, that means there's 10 of them. Now it says, look below at one way to de decompose a 10 degree angle. You can write an equation to show that measure of the 10 degree angle is the sum of the angle measures of the two smaller angles. So down here, it's wanting us to write an equation. Notice that the equal sign is here. So I know that altogether my angle is 10 degrees. And over here, they've broken apart. One of them is 6 degrees and the other one is 4 degrees. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Here's another one. So we can even write it the normal way. 7 degrees plus 3 degrees equals 10 degrees. Because when I add this one, which is worth 3, with that one, which is worth 7, now even though these don't have these little lines right here, if I measured that, it would still be worth 3 degrees. And if I measured this, it would still be worth 7 degrees. And if I know that 3 plus 7 equals 10, OK? 
Okay, we're going to skip number three. All right, so our word this week that's important is decompose. And decompose should be a word that you've heard a few times. We decomposed fractions. We've decomposed numbers and place value. So decompose simply means to break something apart. We're breaking it into smaller pieces. So when we're working with angles, we can do So we have 15 degrees plus 20 degrees equals 35 degrees here. Another way we could do it is 60 degrees equals 30 degrees plus 30 degrees. Or 60 degrees could equal 20 degrees plus 40 degrees. Or it could even equal 15 degrees plus 45 degrees. As long as we get to 60, the way that it's broken apart, as long as they add to 60, then it's still correct. You can also combine angles. So this is showing us what the angle is to start. But now if we write it the other way, we could do 10 degrees plus 20 degrees equals 30 degrees. 15 degrees plus 15 degrees equals 30 degrees. You could do 45 degrees plus 45 degrees equals 90 degrees. So there's lots of different ways that you can come up with that same answer. Let's take a look at number two. Look at one way to decompose a 30 degree angle. You can write an equation to represent the sum of the measures of the angles that combine to form the 30 degree angle. Fill in the blanks on the equation. So I see here my equal sign is here. That means I have to put my equal sign at the beginning. All together, this outside line right here is 30 degrees. So if I add the, these two angles together, 20 degrees plus 10 degrees, it equals 30 degrees. Let's turn to page 698. Shady cuts a rectangular strip of construction paper into two pieces on the dotted line. What is the sum of the measures of angle A and angle B? Explain how you know. I'm going to give you just a minute to try to solve this one on your own. It's very similar to the first problem that we did in this video. So pause this and try this on your own, and after you're done, press play and see if you got your answer correct. All right, just like the video in the beginning, um, this, this right here is going to equal 90 degrees. I know that because this corner is a perfect square corner. So now I just have to find out what angle A and what angle B equals, because A plus B equals 90 degrees. So I'm gonna use my protractor and line it up. This one looks like it's right at 30 degrees. So angle A is worth 30 degrees. And then let's do B. I'm going to line it right up. I'm going to look. And it is right at 60 degrees. So 30 degrees plus 60 degrees equals 90 degrees. So in this instance, the angles are worth different amounts. Our first problem we cut it in half, so each angle was worth 45 degrees. But in this problem, it does not say that it was cut in half. It just says that it was cut. So we have to measure the angles to make sure that they're not 45 degrees, that there's something different. And in our case, the angles measured 30 degrees and 60 degrees. 
or some of you may have gotten 29 degrees and 61 degrees because it was very close. So the sum of A and B is 90 degrees because the uncut piece of paper is 90 degrees. And so then I measured both angles. and add them together. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you back for session two.